Hello everyone, this video won't be too long and honestly I jumped on pretty quick um, as you can see because I didn't even brush my hair um, just to tell you a few ways that you can support the Black Lives Matter movement as well as just black people in general in this moment and in all the ways I'm about to tell you they're free you know what I mean? That they are free it won't cost you a dime and most it'll cost you five minutes depending on which one you do so the number one free way to support the Black Lives Matter movement, um, to support or to go against police brutality um, and the killing of George Floyd and all of that stuff is to show up, you know, go go to a protest, you know, put 10 toes on the pavement. Um, obviously, if you can't do that, then don't worry. I have a lot more ways for you. So just please keep watching. And number two, sign a petition. On my Instagram account, I have multiple petitions up. I'm going to be putting more up. Um, I should have some down in the uh, description below. So check those out. Sign them. All, all it takes is your name and your email. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, post about the protests. Post what you see going on in the protests. Even if you don't go to the protests, but you see uh, news updates or you see people posting from them being at the protest, repost those, share those, spread the word through social media. So that's one thing about social media, it's given us the power to do so much to make this movement so much bigger. Another thing you can do, and this is specifically for my non-black people, my non-melanated folks, because even my Hispanics will know something about this and everything like that, and learn about the struggle. Learn what we face. Um, a lot of times you'll see people come up with these crazy statistics and say that we're asking for it. That's not true. Um, as well as a lot of the statistics are misused. For example, I've been hearing one about how in 2017 about 400 something white people were killed by police, but two and then 200 something, I think 270 black people were killed by police. And they were like, yeah, well, see, more white people got killed by the police. But when you think about that, white people make up 74% of the population. Black people make up 13. How is our, our 270 killings in 2017 is half of that white rate, which is 400 something. Yet they have more than quadruple the amount of people in the U.S. that are white. So as you can see, the rate is extremely disproportionate. So don't let those statistics here uh, fool you, because a lot of them can be falsely provided or, or, or misguided towards the cause or, or, or some kind of cause. Um, don't stop listening, man. Like this is this is one of the most important things. We have been crying out for help for so long, so long since I was a kid. Since I was a kid, I was still in high school when Trayvon Martin died. I was still, I was a child when a family member of, a family member of mine died. Uh, it was, granted it wasn't by police killing, but it was still gun violence. Um, we've been crying since even before then. Out for help. And so... Don't stop listening. Actually, matter of fact, start listening. Open your ears to the cries and then support us for the cries. And then my melanated peoples, we 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 got to stick out for us. We all need 10 toes on the pavement. Rocking, going, doing this. It's not a solo fight. And honestly, I'm so happy to see that countries around the world, every con every continent, has at least one country fighting for us. Everyone marching. Syria is marching. Syria been in so much strife for so long and they still found time to support us. Iran is marching. Iran hates America and they're marching for George Floyd. Ghana is marching. Britain is marching. Germany, France, Belgium, um, New Zealand, Australia, Brazil, Mexico, I can go on and on. Palestine. It's crazy how so many countries march 
with us and in support of us, yet our own doesn't. And those countries themselves even have their own issues going on. Especially countries like Palestine, who's in a constant war with Israel. Which I'm not trying to comment on that war or, or, or take any sides of the war or, or what's going on between them. That's none of my business. I don't, I don't know too much about that. I'm not going to speak on that. I'm just speaking on the fact that even though Palestine has stuff going on, they're still going out of their way to support us. Uh, join your local Black Lives Matter chapter. Join your local, just any chapter or any organization that is in defense of black lives. The ACLU, for example. Um, there's, there's so many more. So many. And I'm going to have all, a lot of them down below too, so just check them out. Teach your kids. You see, racism is a learned trait, not a birth trait. So it should stand to reason anti-racism and to stand up against racism. It all should also be a learned trait. It's not a birth one. Your kids aren't going to be born with that. They're going to learn that. They need you to teach them that. And black people, teach yours to stand up for what's right. I know it's dangerous. I know. Trust me, I've been on these streets. I've been protesting. I've been protesting since before this. I know it's dangerous. But it got to be done. To say the least. Another thing you can do is contact representatives. Contact your representatives. Contact representatives in counties where police brutality is going on. Contact representatives who are making these crooked laws. I'm so happy to see Steve King didn't get reelected. That dude, he racist as they come. As they come. I'm not even joking. My man normally talks about white nationalism and how white people are the best. The epitome of society. When in all actuality, a lot of times, they their actions are to the detriment of the world. Need I say colonialism? Need I say all world wars? And I can go on. Easy. But I'm going to leave it where it stands. Um, another thing you can do. Vote. Please vote vote listen I'm, I'm not this one is so important all the time all the time people and I'll see this in my comments people will say why should I vote for a system that doesn't support me you should vote to get rid of the system that doesn't support you but don't vote for the ones that still, that, if they don't support you, why would you vote for them? Don't. Vote for the ones that do support you. If no one supports you, then you be the one to support you. You be the one to make the voice. I'm trying to do that in my community. I'm trying to do that in nearby communities. I'm trying to do it on Instagram digitally. It, it doesn't take a lot and I'm not like a special person at all really I'm just a, I'm just a dude that picked up his phone one day and said let's do it so that's that's really all it takes man uh, those are pretty much all the free ways that you can support the movement um, some other ways that are more monetary is donate to any of the causes that support the movement a lot of them I'll have listed in the description below uh, you can you can buy water and just give out water at, at marches. That way you're not even in the march. You're not even going to be put in, in harm's way. You can just be at the beginning of the march or the beginning of the protest, hand out the waters, and then be on your merry way. I've also seen people doing this with food. So so really, there's a lot that you can do. And, and, I'm, and like I said, I'm going to have those donation links down below, those petition links down below. Honestly, just please do something. Don't, don't do nothing. Doing nothing puts you on the side of the oppressor. Please do something. Black lives matter. And that's a statement I truly believe. That's all. Peace.